So for today's video is all about the power management system on board. Here you will learn the flow of electricity from the generator going to the main switchboard all the way to the load side. Different loads such as the boiler, air compressor, purifiers, oily water separator, steering gear system, refrigerated containers, or in short, all machineries that requires electricity to run. Since this is a container ship vessel, the electrical power generating plant on this vessel consists of four generators. These generators are situated in the engine room on the second deck level. The generators supply 6600 volts at 60 Hz to the main switchboard, which is situated in the engine control room. The number of generators connected to the main switchboard at one time depends on the electrical consumer load of the ship at that time. The generators can be manually run up and connected to the main switchboard as required but in normal operation, the automatic control system automatically controls the operation of the generators and major operational aspect of the main switchboard. So to understand it further, let's discuss this in a line diagram. So just like what I have said, we have four generators on board which supplies 6,600 volts at 60 Hz with a nominal load of 2,800 kilowatts. So this produced electricity will pass through individual vacuum circuit breaker first. And then, these VCVs will be connected into the bus bar. But the bus bar is separated into two groups, the bus bar A and B, which is being separated by a main bus tie. The main bus tie is a vacuum circuit breaker which is normally closed. The function of this main bus tie is to have a separation between these groups so that we can still service the other part of the main switchboard whenever required. And then this group is connected into a high voltage vacuum circuit breaker before the transformer. Since this is a Korean built vessel, they are using HR1 and HR2 symbol for this high voltage circuit breaker. So what you are seeing right now is the 6600 volts main switchboard setup. The main switchboard and generators can be controlled in one of three ways, manually from the main switchboard, semi-automatically from the operator control stations, automatically via the PMS or the power management system. The PMS automatically controls the diesel generators for efficient operation. Automatic starting, synchronizing, and load sharing is provided for the ship's generator set. The system automatically equalizes the generator frequency with bus bar frequency and energizes the generator's VCB to connect the two circuits at the moment when the phases coincide. Automatic load sharing then ensures that each generator is equally loaded. So now let's move on to the line diagram. The 6600 volts at the main switchboard is transformed down to 440 volts via two 6600 to 440 volts 4200 kVA transformers. This is to supply the main switchboard 440 feeder section. So this is how big the transformers which are located at the side of the engine control room. Since the primary is 6600 and the secondary will be 440 volts, this will pass then to a breaker which is an ACB or an air circuit breaker. Again, this is a Korean built vessel so they are using LR for tagging of the low voltage breaker. 
it is the same setup with the 6600 volts they are also having this low voltage bus tie these two air circuit breakers are mechanically interlocked to ensure that only one transformer can feed the 440 section at any time then the 440 bus bar will be connected to an emergency switchboard bus tie this setup is a little bit different from the other vessel that I have sailed with as they are having two emergency switchboard bus tie but for this vessel they are only having one emergency switchboard bus tie so what you are seeing right now is the 440 low voltage switchboard so in this board where you can find the connections of your winches ventilations cranes pumps blowers purifiers boilers pilot ladders gangways or mostly the entire group starter panels on board the vessel so from 440 volts it is transformed down to 230 volts via two 440 230 volts 150 kilovolts ampere transformers this is to supply the main switchboard 230 volts feeder section 220 feeder panel where you can find the connection of your navigational equipment alarm and monitoring system navigational lights fire alarm system annunciators lights in the engine room Outlets where you can connect all your grinders. Lights in the accommodation including your cabin light. The main switchboard normally feeds the emergency switchboard located in the emergency generator room via the main emergency board interconnector. Then there is another connection which in case the ship will go dry dock then we require the shore connection power. So what you are seeing right now is the emergency switchboard setup. Emergency lights and all essential loads are connected to the emergency switchboard that in case of emergency, you can still run the propulsion of the vessel. This includes the emergency fire pumps, ventilations, steering gear motor, and firefighting system on board. I have a separate vlog regarding the emergency switchboard wherein you can find in the video all the things that you need to know in case of blackout. So here's the more detailed explanation regarding the line diagram of our power management system. Let's say for example that the DG1 is the running generator. The VCB will be in closed position hence the DG1 will feed 6600 volts into the main switchboard. The main bus tie which is normally closed will also link the two bus bar, bus A and bus B. Hence in this setup, the whole bus bar has a 6600 volts supply. The number of running generator requires depends on the demand. Suppose that we decided that transformer number 1 will be our running transformer, then we need to close the HR1 and we will close the ACB LR1. Take note that the ACB LR1 and HR1 has an interlock with each other. This means that if the LR1 will be opened, then the HR1 will also be opened. And in normal operation, EB1 and EB2 will be in closed position so that we can have a feed on the emergency switchboard. LR1 and LR2 has an interlock with each other that only one of them should be in closed position. Hence, the HR2 and LR2 has also interlock with each other. So this means that HR1 and LR1 can only be closed once one of them is closed. And the HR2 and LR2 can be closed once one of them is closed. So in this setup, the HR1 and the HR2 will never be in closed position at the same time. So let's say the TR2 is now the running transformer. And we have decided to run another generator which is the DG number 3. 
before we can put the VCB in closed position, we need to satisfy the three conditions of the system. We need to have equal frequency, voltage, and the phase sequence. Once we satisfy this, then we can sync the incoming generator. This synchronization can be done manually and automatically. And sometimes we cannot avoid of having problem on board. Let's say all the running generators shut down because of major reason. This is what you called blackout on board. Situation like this, you don't have to worry. Because the emergency generator will start automatically not more than 45 seconds. The emergency generator air circuit breaker will also close automatically. Hence, you will have electricity flow on your emergency switchboard. I will put on the description down below the link of the separate vlog which I did in case you have a blackout on board. So that's it guys. I hope you learned something from this video and please do not forget to hit the subscribe button for more ETO updates. Thank you.